Good morning. Welcome to the channel. We're in Melbourne this week and we want to travel around Melbourne and have some good experience. St Kilda Beach. How wonderful. This is a different side of Melbourne and different look. So finally we're at Port Melbourne and as you can see in my background here there is a submarine just docked and releasing a lot of smoke, black smoke and making a huge noise. Look at the submarine, it's a new installation. So we are jumping on this Kiss Eye. Very well and it will be a fantastic fun ride. Now look at the height, we're at the top at the moment and tangling. Probably some of the guys uh, next group is getting on and so we are floating, hanging and uh, we are having a pendulum motion. That's giving me a little bit of goosebump. The fireworks at the Crown Casino are one of the fantastic thing that happens in Melbourne and so it's just started at 6 o'clock and I have been to Melbourne so many times, so this time it will be fantastic. I will share quite a unique experience with you guys, so stay tuned. In our background, uh, we have this famous D-Grip Street. A lot of people are enjoying their morning coffee and some extraordinary coffees of Melbourne on a Sunday morning. So our plan is to go to St. Kilda Market on Sunday morning. Hopefully it will be fantastic. It's a beautiful day in Melbourne and we are on Tram 16. So we arrived in Melbourne and we jumped on Tram 16 because it's Sunday and we're going to St. Kilda Esplanade Market. St. Kilda Beach. How wonderful. This is a different side of Melbourne and different look and there is a beautiful pier, St. Kilda Pier. So that's St. Kilda Pier and this is a very nice place to walk and enjoy the sea beach. Quite long stretch. It's really impressive. All these pine trees is a very touristy and very attractive place to live and it's pretty expensive as well in Melbourne. There is a lighthouse and this pier is closed at the moment. It's fully scaffolded. I think they're doing some redevelopment so you can't really go on that pier. And I'm trying my S23 zoom and I can see a huge ship. It's almost like a warship but I think it's some sort of big carrier, cargo carrier most likely. And one of the other interesting thing here at St. Kilda was the St. Kilda Sea Bath and this is a very historic building and that was a fantastic wide building on a blue sky on this yellow St. Kilda beach. Late afternoon we are going to Port Melbourne for a sunset view. So the sunset from Port Melbourne will be fantastic. We were thinking how we end the day and this is a fantastic day we have came to Melbourne after such a long time and so we thought we'll come to Port Melbourne. We haven't been to Port Melbourne for a while so we took the number 109 tram it, that ends here and now we are at Port Melbourne and we are going to enjoy the sunset. Melbourne sunset from Port Melbourne will be extraordinary. Port Melbourne was a spot where Spirit of Tasmania used to come from Devonport, uh, from Tasmania, used to sail to Port Melbourne and that was the way to cross Bass Strait. Spirit of Tasmania goes to Geelong from Devonport, it sails to Geelong these days. This is one of our favorite spots in Melbourne. It's quite vast and beautiful. So this is Port Melbourne and you can see the Bass Strait and all these beautiful apartments overlooking Bass Strait and the ocean and we have a very nice little sea beach here at Port Melbourne and we'll be walking through this pathway up to the other end. Let's go. So we were listening to a very loud noise and there was a lot of black smoke coming out and then we noticed that there is a submarine a submarine probably arriving or sailing out from 
Port Melbourne. This is a very beautiful spot and sun is setting. I don't know whether we can see the sun is going down on the horizon, probably not, but the lighting and uh, evening sky will be beautiful. So finally we're at Port Melbourne and as you can see in my background here there is a submarine just docked and releasing a lot of smoke, black smoke and making a huge noise. Look at the submarine. I don't know whether it's a huge submarine but it's a really good size submarine, half submerged, releasing quite a lot of black smoke and the sun is setting. Obviously it's a beautiful spot, no matter what time of the year you come, winter, summer, we have a lovely day today and the summer time the Port Melbourne will be full of people. Oh beautiful shot, there is a guy jet skiing at Port Melbourne and what a beautiful sight this is. Look at this Port Melbourne infrastructure, this is a very important spot uh, in Melbourne because every summer we have cruise ships dock here and also it's important for trade and also important for defense as you can see now it's off season for cruise liners but we have military presence we have a big submarine docked here so we have a very small pier a very tiny bit of pier here but this is really nice and you can stand here as long as you want and it's a beautiful spot because you can see the Port Melbourne Sea Beach on one side such a beautiful color at the moment because of the sunset and then on the other side we have this Port Melbourne like St Kilda Port Melbourne has also got these beautifully ornamented trees across the sea beach. This gives Port Melbourne or St. Kilda a Santa Monica vibe in Los Angeles and US or perhaps Nice in South France. So from that small pier we came to the other side of Port Melbourne where we have a lot of apartments and one of the favorite spot here for us is these seats. These seats, whenever we come here we sit on these seats and they are beautiful even on a winter evening or in the summer when the weather is extremely good. We always enjoy these seats at Port Melbourne. It's a very relaxing seat. Sometimes they work from here as well these days. And so it is a very attractive place in Melbourne to live and work. And look at uh, the Melbourne beauty of Melbourne waterfront this year a river and it's just before evening and it, all the lights will glow very soon it will be fantastic you see there is one thing it's written keep the Yarra River clean and they are giving some sort of alert and advice to people who are throwing plastic things and anything basically like you see there are helmets even in, in the Yarra River. So they're doing a project and they're trying to clean the water and keep it clean. It has to be kept clean because it's such a beautiful city and all the cities are getting older and so to keep it so attractive and beautiful, people need to be more sensible to keep this water, this water body clean and so they have this mission. That was a nice shot, that speedboat doing something on the Yarra River and going under the bridge. That was really nice. And look at these ripples of water on this river, such a wonderful sight. A lot of people are returning from work, there are a lot of office in this area and so it is a very pleasant evening in Melbourne. It's not very cold but winter is coming. This area is called Boat Builder's Yard 
It historically this used to be a boat building area in Melbourne. Now it is a very vibrant area with a lot of restaurants and beautiful bridges and a lot of apartments, very expensive apartments and office office buildings. This is the mark for the welcome to the boat builders here. And just beside that we have this signpost called 40 Spotted Jean and that's pointed to Hobart Tasmania. So this direction is Hobart Tasmania from this point. And we are going to see a beautiful ship, very old ship, preserved. It's called Polly Woodside and it is permanently parked here. Look at this beautiful bridge and this reflection. And we can decide to photograph this beautiful ship. It's called Polly Woodside. It's a very historic ship, permanently parked here. And you can do a tour of this ship here as well. Shipbuilder's Yard and reflection of the ship is also beautiful. And beside that is the Melbourne Convention Center. And we can see from here that ferries will that we're going to go on. It's getting a bit darker and the lights are glowing. It's always fascinating this sight and this view, Melbourne skyline and this ferries wheel is also very spectacular. So it will be a fun ride. This is a new installation. So we are jumping on this Kiss Eye ferries wheel and it will be a fantastic fun ride. I was always scared about going on this ferries wheel from the childhood. So we are at this ferries wheel and uh, it's $20 each and hopefully it will be brilliant short ride. I was always scared about going on this ferries wheel from the childhood. Ornima, are you are you scared? No. <laughs> So this ride takes about 10 minutes, so going on top and so basically it takes 10 minutes to complete one cycle. But I think we can see it on the other side. <laughs> so we have started moving and it's a bit faster this time. So we're going on top. Look at these guys, what a view. Oh, look at the height, we're at the top at the moment. And tangling. Probably some of the guys, uh, next group is getting on. And so we are floating, hanging, and uh, we are having a pendulum motion. That's giving me a little bit of goosebump. We're at the top at the moment. We're yeah, going down. We're going down? Already started going down? Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, so we are going up again. Oh, we are going up again. So I think they are going to allow us a couple of times. And this little window is open. So that's why through this window we can get a fantastic view. What a view Melbourne has to offer. As you know, we have been walking through these uh, water bank and uh, the Melbourne Convention Center on the right hand side and we are going on top again. So I'm going to hold the camera through this window and you get to see the whole perspective, how rotating and the moving body is this one is.
I do remember going on one of these in, in India. That was a horrible experience. Uh, I was with my friends and I'm always scared and they were teasing me all the way and it, it took like 10 minutes. But this is so gentle, I don't even notice that we are going down and going up. So we are going for third time. This is nice. I can see the whole thing at the moment. Brilliant. And we are going for fourth time. So this is going to be a very long ride. Now it is a bit static so we are hanging. So I think people are getting on and so that's why it's a bit static and we are hanging at the top and this view it's mesmerizing isn't it now it's moving again I think this one is going to be our final round otherwise I'll be very surprised That's the bridge, we were vlogging on that bridge just a while ago. We are moving again. Orima is doing a fantastic time lapse. This ferris wheel has got extraordinary LED lighting and it's continuously changing. I was doing some time lapse from that bridge and it was just a fantastic sight. And look at that, there is a tram going on here, a river, and we can see that. Wonderful. What a colorful sight this is changing in rainbow color we have changed our seats now I can take some photos of Varunima in that other side of the background and look at the structure what a background Varunima I hope this time they glow the Crown Casino's firework has started we could see the fireworks at the Crown Casino at the South Bank and this is wow I can see that So we are supposed to do five rounds, but that lady allowed us to do another five. So we are keep doing ten rounds. Look at the height. What a view Melbourne has to offer. What a fantastic ride that was on that ferry's wheel and we just came down. We had about 10 rides on that one. We paid for 5 but they gave us 10. And look at the view in my background. This is Melbourne skyline at night time. Yara river flowing and the reflection. It can't be any better. What a fantastic sight, isn't it? We always enjoy this evening walk in Melbourne. And we have been very lucky this time because there is not a single drop of rain. And so we are enjoying this day. It has been a very busy time uh, work-wise. Otherwise, we always love living in Melbourne.
what a beautiful installation, isn't it? It's just looking stunning. The fireworks at the Crown Casino are one of the fantastic things that happens in Melbourne. And so it's just started at 6 o'clock and without these fireworks, the video cannot be completed. So look at that. This is a fantastic show, isn't it? Enjoy the show.